guys, welcome, and we're going to be looking at the 2011 Norwegian action crime thriller, Headhunters. And this is directed by Morten Tidlum, and stars Axel Henney, Nikolai Costa-Water, Sanov McAbee Lund, and Evan Sander. And this is an edge-of-your-seat thriller. I've watched this numerous times, and I think this is one of the best thrillers that's come out in the 2000s. It is very entertaining. It's very violent, but the story and the characters, it hooks you every time and it's no surprise that it's the highest grossing film in Norway to date. So without further ado, let's check it out. Headhunters begins by introducing us to Roger Brown, played by Axel Henney, an executive headhunter and a part-time high-end painting thief. He's very good and meticulous at both his jobs but needs the latter to support his lavish lifestyle. One evening Roger attends an art exhibition held by his wife Diana played by Sanov Makati Lun, and she introduces him to Class Grieve, played by Nikolai Costa Waldo, a tall, good looking retired executive of the GPS nanotechnology company Hote, and former member of a special tactical military force. Roger, who is actively recruiting for a new executive role for the company Pathfinder, thinks Class is perfect for the role and organizes for him to interview for the position. Even better that night after the gallery exhibition, Diana tells Roger that Klaas wants an evaluation of a genuine Rubens painting valued in the tens of millions that he has sitting in his grandmother's apartment he's renovating. With the prospects of a painting that will settle Roger's debts and financially secure him for life, Roger enlists the help of his criminal partner Ove, played by Evan Sander, who works at a surveillance company. All is going according to plan in acquiring the painting, but as Roger is leaving Class's residence, he decides to phone Diana, and to his surprise, he discovers her mobile under Class's bed sheets. Shattered, Roger leaves Class's residence and seeks to ruin Class's chance of getting a job at Pathfinder. Har du mötte med Pathfinder idag? Och Class Greve? Mm. mm. Gick det bra? Nej. Han får jobb. Absolut inte. När jag kom på kontor i morgon så kommer jag att ta en ringrunda till de andra byråerna och sörja för att han inte får en enaste jobb i Norge. Vad får du? Fann du mobilen i varsin? Mm. However, Class finds out and seeks to destroy Roger in a cat and mouse game. This leads to some breathtaking set pieces in which Roger tries to evade the ruthless tactical skills of Class. And though you would think anyone in Roger's circumstances would turn to the police, Roger's suspect background and recent blood on his hands as a result of Class's tactics, Roger's only escape is to take the game to Class, get the upper hand, and clear his name before Class or the police get him. This is a great ride, this film. I mean, the films coming out of Norway and just Europe in general, I mean, I'm clamoring for them. They're so good, and this is definitely one of the best. And acting in this film, I mean, Axel Henney. I mean, you can't help but feel for his character, but you don't want to, because this guy is a low life. I mean, he's a robber. He's stealing to benefit himself. I mean, he's not like Robin Hood, where he's stealing from the rich to give to the poor. He's stealing to put in his own back pocket. But the situations that Nikolai Costa Water put Axel Henney's character in. I mean, you can't help but feel for him, especially a scene where he has to hide in an outhouse. I mean, that's really bad. And Nikolai Costa Water, he plays the bad guy really well. I mean, he does such a good job, and it's good to see him play a bad guy again because you don't see that in Game of, Games of Thrones anymore because he's sort of playing a good guy now, and it's really good to see him real full on evil. And the technology he uses. That's scary if that exists. I mean, yeah, I hope that doesn't exist. So guys, this is a really nice looking film. The script's good. There's a few little good little twists in there to keep you entertained. It's definitely one to check out, so it gets a thumbs up from me. And guys, let me know what you think about this film if you've checked it out. And guys, as always, thanks for tuning in. I'm Patty McManus, and press that subscribe button below to support me. Wow!